The Food and Nutrition Research Institute or FNRI noted that only 55.1% of Filipino households meet the recommended protein intake based on the 2028-2029 expanded national nutrition survey of the agency. Wild-caught fishes give a good portion of protein but the challenge is the availability and the increasing prices. Prices of locally produced round scud, for example, now reach 240 pesos per kilogram. This is almost equivalent to half of the daily salary of a minimum wage earner. Yung mga wild caught naman, ang concern po natin is nag, nagkakaroon ng overfishing. So, mas konti, mas konti na yung nagiging supply. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources is now implementing fishing ban in Palawan and Visayan Sea. The Department of Agriculture is campaigning for other fish options like those in aquaculture like milkfish and tilapia which has lower prices. Tilapia only priced at 120 pesos per kilogram while milkfish at 180. FNRI said that these fishes may also be sources of protein but not as good as those caught in the ocean. Yung um, ating mga galunggong or tuna na sa 20, around 25 grams per 100 gram. Unlike sa mga um, tilapia or ano or um, milkfish, around 20 grams per 100 grams yung protein. So, mas mababa ng konti. Pero again, they are still good sources of protein po. So, pwede pa rin po natin silang kainin. FNRI sees the need for more support for small fisher folks because they supply more fish in markets than the commercial fishing vessels. The Agriculture Department already allowed the importation of 25,000 tons of fish to maintain stable prices. Ray Pilayo, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.